Hi, it's me and Molly again, just saying hello and checking in about some exciting stuff happening. Thank you to Nina Joy and David for donating their Weston timeshare. I'm really excited about this opportunity. This is a way to give back to the church, uh, to the capital campaign, but also to get away and have a vacation. We could all use that right now, right? Uh, the opening bid is $1,500. It's for an entire week. The dates are January 24th through 31. So at a time when New Mexico is really cold and you just want to get away somewhere nice, uh, if you're a golfer in particular, this is a fantastic place. There are more details in the midweek below, but definitely check them out and share them with friends who might um, enjoy that opportunity. And of course, bids should be sent to the church office. Thank you to everyone who's given to the Capital Campaign already. We are off to a fantastic start. I wanna say thank you also for those of you who donated to Family Promise. We had an outpouring of support and I've heard big thank yous from Family Promise and I wanna convey my personal thank you to all of you who donated toys and books, games, furniture, jackets to our Family Promise families. Thanks also to the women's retreat team who did a wonderful Zentangle meditation. We had a great group of folks here. Everybody was safe and wore masks and spread out and all of that. But we also got to dive deeper into our creative spirit and be together with one another in the beautiful outdoors. I do wanna let you know that with COVID numbers going up in New Mexico, we're being extra careful and the council has still decided that we're not gonna have groups inside the church right now. So if you're interested in having a prayer group, meeting with me, meeting with other folks here on the church property, please let me or Erica know and we can make it work in a way that's safe for everybody. We also invited a new member into our church this week, Michelle McConville. Welcome to Church of the Good Shepherd. If you haven't joined the church yet, but are interested in joining, we'll have another opportunity in the months to come. So please let me know if that's something you're interested in and we can have a conversation and uh, chat with Alan Bash, our membership team lead as well, and get that process underway. Molly and I are doing great. Thank you for checking in. Those of you who have, whether you're doing great or not, it's always good to hear from you. A reminder that you can always call me on my cell or call Erica in the church office. The care team has also done an amazing job reaching out to people and keeping me in the loop about what's going on with different members that they've connected with. Thank you, thank you, thank you to Carol Jordan and our care team. This week's scripture will be from Deuteronomy, which we don't talk about a whole lot, but is a good reminder that God is still speaking because the book of Deuteronomy is a revision in many ways of the earlier laws. So this is a friendly reminder that even as the world is changing around us, God is still speaking. And God is still revealing God's truth in the world to us and through us. Please stay safe this week. Keep connecting. Pay attention to all the stuff in the midweek message. There's a lot going on here. And I'll look forward to seeing you on Sunday.